Hey everybody, Modeling Weekly here. First of all, I would like to thank all of my fellow subscribers for getting me to where I am now. All of your great compliments and enthusiasm really encourages me to make more videos for you to see. In order to celebrate my goal of 100 subscribers, I'll be showing you almost my entire model collection, of which I've worked on for almost four years. You'll be seeing some of my first ever models, and also some of my recent models which I have not recorded for YouTube, as well as an overview of my model collection. Let's get started then. start off with, this is the third model that I ever built. As you can see, it is a British Air Force Red Arrows map. My first and second models were a Spitfire and a Lunar Landing module, of which neither were completed, sadly. Anyway, back to this model. This is an obvious beginner's model, as you can tell by the paint job and awful cockpit. The decals are pretty decent, but not the best in the world. Next up here we have my first ever tank, which you can clearly tell is the Airfix King Tiger. This is my fifth or sixth model, which I was given a lot of help from, from my dad. The tracks were tough for me, and so were the wheels. As you can see, I had an attempt at washing it, but it didn't quite go to plan, as a lot of it stayed on after I cleaned it off. Going back a bit further from the Tiger now, I built this British Harrier Jump Jet. Something you should know though, is that I recently repainted it about a year ago so the paint job isn't original. Obviously that means that the decals are new too. Other than that, the cockpit and assembly are all four years old and pretty bad compared to my ability now. Next is the last model I built four years ago, which is the Douglas Boston Mark III, an old Airfix kit. This was my first ever model built by myself. As you can see, I attempted to do cockpit, cockpit window struts and utterly failed doing so. The paint job though is surprisingly good for a beginner. Coming up next to some of my models that I built roughly three years ago. I couldn't find many from this time period so I'm only showing two. Here we have the Airfix Messerschmitt BF109 which I bought in an RAF Museum gift shop. The other paint job of the model isn't that great but is definitely not the worst. The cockpit though is another story. It's completely painted with humble 90 light green, giving it an utterly unrealistic look. Here you can see the awful paint job of the cockpit. The next and also last model from three years back is this FX Glossy Gladiator. I received this kit from my aunt and I wanted it to look really great. This kit was the beginning of my better models. The only downside I could think of was the white paint and made the underside look scruffy as you can see. First of all, for two years back, we have my Airfix Mitsubishi Dyna Recon aircraft. This kit is one of, if not my favourite, kit of all time. All the parts fitted excellently and the paint job is one of my best hand-painted ones. The only bad thing I can think of with this kit is the decals. They kept tearing when I applied them, which was a pain in the neck. Next up is the Airfix Fairy Swordfish. I love this plane in real life, so to be able to create it in miniature was wonderful. The weathering is decent and so is the paint job. I had no fitting issues once again, which is great for Airfix. Third of all, we have the Airfix Supermarine Spitfire Mark IX. This kit had a few fitting issues and wasn't my favourite to build, unfortunately. The paint job is alright though, and so are the decals. This was the first kit that I masked the canopy to paint on the struts. Lastly, for two years ago, we have the Airfix de Havilland Mosquito. This kit was extremely hard to build, especially with a landing gear, which wouldn't fit at all no matter how hard I tried. The black was sprayed on by me and was good until I put the decals on, which left shiny marks all over the surface. For almost one year ago, I have the Airfix Nakajima Cake Dive Bomber. This was the first ever kit that I recorded on YouTube. I will put links in the description for all the kits while I am recording, by the way. The paint job on this kit is great for a spray can, and the decals were excellent to put on. The cotton bit is pretty good, and all in all, it's a nice kit. Now, for this year, all of the kits I will show you are on my channel. Here we have the Airfix Spitfire Mark V in the 148 scale. This kit was my first ever kit in 148 scale, and it was really fun to build. It gave a great result, and I was very proud of my end work. Secondly, we have the Airfix Dogfight Double Spitfire. This kit was my first ever airbrushed aeroplane that came out better than expected. The fitting was similar to the standard Spitfire, mediocre. For the last example of 2017, we have the Airfix Churchill Mark 7 tank. 
This tank came out great, as, although the fit of the parts were extremely awful. The base turned out great and really complements the model.